What's up guys, back for another Honkai Star video. Grinded out March 7th, we have all three of her available Eidolons. Yes, you can only get three at the moment. Build's looking pretty decent right now. Got a lot of crit rate, but I figured might as well just rock this like him because I can't give her Adventurings because he's on, or not Adventurings, sorry. Can't give her Ratios because he's on the team. I don't have Zaylays and I really don't want to give her the Yamchik one just for a bit more crit damage. So we're rocking this one. If she defeats an enemy, she gets an attack buff. And she pretty much should always crit with this one. I do plan on getting her a crit damage chest piece at some point. Maybe with a little bit of attack and crit rate on it. But she's pretty much okay as is. She shouldn't be doing a ton of damage. But, I mean, this should still be a good general idea of what she could do. Just, obviously, if you have her build a bit better, just add a little bit of damage to it. We're rocking maxed out basic attack and all of her traces are at eight everything else is unlocked so she's pretty well built um speed wise she's 135 and then she gets the action event so she will be the first one attacking because everyone else is slower or on par i believe she's still faster than adventuring um even without the action advance i'm on i pulled that up uh light cone wise we aren't rocking anything too crazy i mean two sigs and then you know i i is this one free to play? I mean, you could buy it, right? Uh, other than that, yeah, nothing too crazy. I will say March can be ran in a break comp because she does give her Shifu, which is like the like the Boba T person she is with her skill, right? She does give them crit damage and break effects. So you can run her on a break team, so that would be pretty interesting to try out. Uh, the reason we're doing MOC 11 is because the boss on MOC 12 is argenti and he has a lot of shields she he wants to put up and then there's the three boss that wants to be hit with a wheeze so i was like okay might as well just fight kafka because she's just one enemy i don't have to worry about it you know i know it's on mc12 but i did do a run and it wasn't slow you i would have cleared in a okay amount of turns but it just made the team look really bad because I'm only attacking one enemy at a time, which is a lot slower. That's another thing, unfortunately, wrong with Hunt. I feel like when we get to the Apocalyptic Shadow Showcase, it'll be a bit better. I know you still fight groups of enemies, but it's more so just like one big boss versus like two to three enemies who are split up with a lot of HP. But anyway, I'm going to cut to after the Firefly team rolls in because I, I wish you could switch these and just fight Kafka first. But I mean, hey, you know, that's not a thing yet. Alrighty, we are jumping in now. Pop, pop, easy. Pop that, pop this. And we're good to go. March gets her three stacks from people using techniques. So she's all good to go. Uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer this time or two hours earlier. Because I probably will post this at 10 my time. Potentially, hopefully. Uh... And yeah, I mean, it It just took too long to upload the day before, man. I thought I was going to go crazy, but the story wasn't too long. But the March stuff definitely took way longer. So I'm not going to lie. So let's do this real quick. She flew it up. Ooh, I should have skilled with March first. Oh, well. Slide this way. It's fine. You know. You can't be perfect all the time. Alright, uh, then we'll attack you. Now, we do have zero skill points, however, we're just gonna get all of them back pretty damn quick. Because March will never have to skill again, and Ventry basically doesn't have to skill because it's mine's one. Bob, even if yours is E0 and you have to skill every now and again, that's not gonna be too much of an issue with this team. Um, we'll do that. And then we'll do this, Bop. which will give ratio that juicy 60% crit damage to Sheesh. Um, I guess we'll take, well, Bop, Bop, and then we'll target you, don't pop this. And then this will break, which we get the break effect to buff, big W. I guess we'll just take this guy out. Um, is this... Oh, I really wish that killed. We can do this, though. And then we can ult you. 
Because old doesn't do like that much damage, realistically. And then 100% still. Bop. I mean, that was a little, that was a little overkill. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We're doing pretty good. Like this, like MOC 12, obviously gonna be a bit tankier, but that one's like really just not catered for this. Um, I don't like you. I also don't want Kafka to like hurt me. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob attack is pretty convenient for lowering the toughness, so that'll, that'll probably take more into effect for the break effect teams just because whatever typing yo can we like stop hitting arch hello there's a whole ass preservation unit with a taunt all right oh thank you but we pretty much just have to do that so march doesn't die and then that again but yeah no the follow-up attack is going to be more helpful for the break because obviously it lowers toughness plus whatever type the shifu is which in this case it's ratio so it doesn't really matter because they're both imaginary uh, Marcel will lower it, so if Kafka, let's say, wasn't weak to imaginary, she's weak to physical, I mean, like, Boot Hill here, she would still lower it because Kafka's weak to physical, which is Boot Hill's type. Um, but yeah, we should just pop up, and then we're chilling, and then we're blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, March, March might cook a little bit harder on the break teams, I ain't gonna lie. Then that's 80, do we get it, though? Oh, March came in clutch, though. Bop. Alright, so Kafka is out of commission for the moment. I we just W key into her at this point. Take her out as fast as possible. If six. I wish we could get a bit more. Oh, we can! Let's go! I really like Robin. Such a fun unit. Bop bop. Oh, and then Ratio gets his ultimate here. I wish I could proc the ult before the default attack. That'd be so much more convenient. But we have 10 stacks. Ooh, and we have this. Oh, yo, that was a lot of damage. Can we kill with this? Oh, we can. Ooh, that was big. That was big. Yo, this team is kind of clearing kind of fast. Like... I'm telling you, when I did MOC um, 12, it just did not make this team look good because the enemies were just not designed for all that. Plus, we couldn't break them. Hang on. Big brain? Oh, we're just shy. No. That's so sad. So sad. We were so close. Yeah, and there's the... Ah, that sucks. That sucks. Oh well, I mean, it's not like end of the world. Bop bop. The all that ratio finish it off, I guess. Unless... Aw, oh, March could get it in. Unfortunate, but overall, pretty fast clear. I mean, to be fair, we did have the one cycle with the Firefly team, but I mean... A lot, like that was pretty quick for a hunt team like i know doctor ratio is pretty good like the team wasn't like bad by any means i did not mean to do that i'm gonna go back in uh team isn't bad by any means but like they kind of cook with march she's pretty like universal and that's what this like i wouldn't say it's an awful crit damage percent to be at but you can definitely get higher like if you have like zayla's light cone or like another doctor ratio like con i know that's like a really weird thing to have a second one of but she would obviously be doing more plus if i give her a bit crit damage so let's let's see realistically let's give her this right if you wanted to make her like main dps which would be a little weird i know because she's more of like a support sub dps we give her that and we give her who has like a crit damage piece let's give her this right because this would be like Optimally, what I'd be kind of going for. She'd be at 230 with 540 crit rate. 540. What is wrong with me? It's so late. Uh, you can tell. Um, let's actually give Acheron her thing back. And let's do one where if I, like, I really fished for the crit rate. Um, do I have any? This one. I forgot. Yeah, okay. Let's just say in like a perfect world in a perfect world this is what i get 
I'm gonna be kind of close. I mean, I mean it's so it's so crew right you now. Um, let's go back down. Where is so I now have a crit damage one that has like a decent amount of crit rate. What is this one? It's almost crit rate, crit damage. Uh, we we don't. That was like realistic as we'd get. So here, let's just yoink this real quick. Oh, okay, or not. But like that's not bad. Even if we switch back to this, if we give her a crit damage chest piece, like that's that's pretty damn good. Oh, I'm a hundred percent giving her a crit damage chest piece now. Two ten. And like, well, obviously ignore the speed, right? Because I'd probably fine tune a bit more. But Barge is looking really good. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, as always. But we're definitely going to test her out on a break team. And then we're also going to try out Yunli. Spoiler alert, I did end up getting the light cone and like a few more singles afterwards. So we got to test out Yunli and all that stuff. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss on that. Let me know what you think of March 7th. If you have her, if you haven't gotten her yet, are you excited to use her? And of course, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.